And as you may have read, Sierra Leone is one of the least developed countries in the world, according to the Human Development Index. And so we have very big issues around youth, issues around education, and issues around gender equity. With regard to youth, um, the form a large percentage of the population of Sierra Leone when they are faced with challenges such as unemployment, underemployment, um, exploitative employment, uh, issues around sexual reproductive health, and so sometimes this you know, compels them to do things that society does not like, such as going into crime. Education is a big issue where you have unequal access between those who have and those who don't have, between the urban areas and between the rural areas, and more importantly, between boys and girls. And so this project would help us see how we can bridge the gap with regard to access to quality education for both boys and girls, as well as find uh, support to our youth who um, uh, need a lot of help in Sierra Leone. Our advocacy message for now is that the youth are the future of any country, and so it is important that countries pay attention to the challenges of youth to develop them so that they can take part in leadership roles, they can play um, you know, so development support in their communities, and they can help the country move forward in its uh, political, economic and social agenda. My last word is that this is a three country project and we hope that we would learn uh, the different approaches, the different results and the different challenges between the three countries so that we can improve on what we do. People who are physically challenged who are within the area, it is on that basis that Ghana sees a very good opportunity to be part of the YET program because the YET program is issues around youth, active citizenship but also including or male and female youth to secure that they participate in that particular program. Ghana also likes the fact that this project is multi country, so that means we can learn from what's going to happen in Sierra Leone and then in Burkina Faso. But it is also regional in nature, so ancestors involved now, so that the issues and learning from the implementation on the ground can be cascaded upwards for ancestors to use for their policy influence. Likewise, and SEPA can also give back to us on what happens at the sub regional and regional level to influence our decision making on the program. I mean, so by the nature of the project, the whole, the, the message we like to is the inclusion of youth in decision making regarding things that affect them. So, for example, how can we get the use of youth on issues around policy? How can we make youth not just as active participants? Uh, not just as passive participants, but then active players on issues around youth across the, uh, the spectrum in the country, at the local level, at the regional level.